You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. After Buzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show, it's AfterBuzz TV's WWE Monday Night Raw After Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another AfterBuzz TV after show for Monday Night Raw. This is, what is this again? <laughs> I don't even know. Some Druid the dubstep. The dubstep version of the Druid entrance from tonight. <laughs> I'm your host, Kathy Kelly, filling in for Johnny LaQuasto, who is out getting a paycheck in Las Vegas doing some comedy shows. <laughs> But that's that's what he told in, us. Yeah, that's what he told us. Maybe <laughs> and losing that story. paycheck <laughs> moments later. <laughs> exactly. Um, unfortunately, Dale is not here again this week. He will be back next week. But we do have some great fill-ins sitting to my right. Ken Knapsack. I'm on this side now. I know. So glad to be here. Yeah. Thanks for having me back. And we have a great announcement about uh, the Schmoes Knows will be coming to you from AfterBuzz TV That's right. studios. That's Sh- right. Schmoes No Movie Podcast starting April 3rd will be live from the AfterBuzz studios. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. They're awesome. Ken's on it, one of the producers. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun. We're happy to be here. Yeah. And across from me, Eric Barnes. Eric Whoa. Barnes Rowan. Eric Barnes Rowan. <laughs> Sans sheep mask. Run. <laughs> He's going to be taking over all the Wyatt impressions tonight in Johnny's absence. And sitting next to Eric, Mike Bridenstine. Hey. Hey. Hi. <laughs> hey, hi, hello. Hi. Do the derps. No. Uh, so... Great show overall. Brooklyn crowd was on fire tonight. Brooklyn! <laughs> and they got a they got a lot of people. They got, <laughs> they got almost everyone on. They got uh, all the people there. They got Hulk Hogan. They got Scooby Doo. They got Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> they got Joe Mangello. <laughs> Joe Maglioli was Joe on there. Magna- Joe the Joe no. Ravioli made it. Joe Joe Jellamo. Joe Manganello. Joe Maganmoo. Please. Maganello. Of course, you knew Please. how to pronounce that right away. Mm-hmm. We were all like, "Yeah, he's like Joe something." You're like Maganello. Of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Had the man who mispronounces everything, yeah. mis- pronounced his name correctly. Yes. Unlike everyone else, Hogan didn't. Everyone Hogan butchered didn't. it. <laughs> everyone butchered it everyone. tonight. <laughs> um, but. Brooklyn crowd is great. Steph McMahon comes out to start the show, calls the yes movement a fad, and says the only way to get Daniel Bryan to listen was to take drastic measures last week. Of course, she's talking about how Triple H beat the crap out of him um, (laughs) last Monday Night Raw. Um, Just so intense. It was so bad. Much like Johnny LaQuasto, Daniel Bryan too injured from slaps to be there this week. Yeah, yeah, too injured from slapping. Very true. I loved how uh, Steph just said, insubordination would not be tolerated, and we and, and us, the people, need people like her to lead us. Mm-hmm. I thought it was great that she tied in her family history, bringing in the McMahon. 50 years we've been your leaders. You need us to lead you. I thought that was a great theme for her promo. And how dare you hijack our show? <laughs> exactly. How dare you? Um, so, Steph, she was great tonight. Uh, after Orton comes out, and the crowd starts chanting Daniel Bryan. Steph just stops everyone, says, you can all stop, he's not coming out. <laughs> of course, we learned later that uh, Daniel Bryan tweeted that he was not medically cleared to be on Raw tonight. One of the few tweets that he ever does. has <laughs> ever sent. Um, it's always wonderful when the heel tells the truth. Mm-hmm. And it, hurt, it, it just, just, it just kind of jabs more yeah. into you, twists the knife. 
One of the interesting side notes in this promo, and we'll see if you guys picked up on it, and, and we talk about when's Vinnie Mac coming back to TV. Mm-hmm. She labeled Trips as the most yeah. powerful man yeah. in the yeah. WWE. I thought that was a cue for him to yeah. show up. Yeah, yeah. you were calling that yeah. in there, but do you think that's gonna he's going to come back in Mania? you think he's involved? Maybe the uh, Raw after Mania? I don't know how Vince McMahon doesn't show up to Mania 30. Right. Yeah. Right. Some I don't know. sort of screw job fashion or another. I've noticed that they haven't. I said this last week, but they haven't mentioned him by name. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stephanie mentioned Jess McMahon. Right. Mm-hmm. She mentioned Vincent McMahon mm-hmm. Senior. I don't know his middle name. It's not, <laughs> it's not K. But she mentioned that McMahon. But and then Triple H called him the old man last mm-hmm. week. Yeah. No mention of Vince whatsoever. I don't know if, why, but I Very can't cryptic. imagine him. Yeah, it would make sense. Triple H in the main event, maybe some kind of screw job finish. Yeah. Maybe Vince try to set himself up as the big baby face. Thirty years after all this began. Yeah, uh, you know. It's interesting to know. That was very highlighted from Stephanie. He mm-hmm. Triple H is the most powerful the man. The last time we saw him was at TLC, I believe. Yeah. We showed up yeah. for the, the biggest match of all time between it, Orton and Cena. The <laughs> biggest match. That, that only had three weeks of build. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest match of all time. If he doesn't show up at Mania 3, he's definitely going to show up the, the Raw afterward. Yeah. He has to. Yeah. You're right. WrestleMania 30. 30. He's going to be around. I would expect yeah. Shane McMahon to show up. Money, money, money. Everyone yeah. keeps saying that, but <laughs> oh, no. 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 Um, so, just as this all is going on, a boring chant breaks out. We've got a lot of CM Punk <laughs> chants tonight as well. Uh, Do you think Randy Orton up. is sick of boring chants in everything he does? <laughs> does think, it weigh on him psychologically? I think that it's a life, I mean, the masked man said it was a lifetime achievement award for all of his promos. <laughs> I think that he's been doing great work, like, lately. He's always but solid. This was yeah. a decent promo, or this was a decent start to the night, but I feel like they should have known Brooklyn, starting off with Orton and Batista, Uh you're not going to get a good reaction. And starting Mm -hmm. off with a 20-minute talking segment, too. Yeah. And yeah. very, very, very little wrestling tonight. Not oh, a lot of wrestling. No. I think there were Took five long. matches that were under five minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. They made up for it in the fight. Well, not totally. <laughs> the, but the but last there was, match was the, great. Yeah, the last match was. And the, 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 the whatever, the four, four way for the IC title. That was good as well. It's magnifique. Mm-hmm. It's Mangello. <laughs> yeah, Mangello. <laughs> Mangello. <laughs> Mangello. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> Batista's mic also did not work during this segment. That was great. We could tell oh, they were they cut camera on. It was just on Stephanie and Orton while they flipped mics, but you could hear the ruffling of the mics. Yeah. And then um, Steph just calls him out and says, "Pick up the other one." <laughs> Orton breaks out in laughter. Which was hilarious. It kind of summarizes Batista's return to the Fed that yes. uh, no one can hear <laughs> you. No one can hear you. <laughs> yes. And on top of that, no one cares if they can hear you or not. <laughs> you can't hear me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Batista says Orton needs to stop sucking up to Stephanie. And I don't want to break your heart, but Steph has been drooled on before. I think Steph's been drooled on a lot. <sighs> Steph slaps him and the, walks out. The imagery of that drool. comment. Drool. Drool. Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course, this comes from Batista, who's drooled on a lot of divas over his time uh, period. So. I don't like want to know what Batista's animal. into. <laughs> uh, Batista then. Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> He smells of Axe Body Strange you know rule. <laughs> he unleashes on Orton and during this whole thing rips his skinny jeans. Unleashes so hard it bursts through his skinny jeans. If <laughs> getting... you did not catch that, definitely go back and look he at a picture. Spe- he he tore pants. ass on Orton, literally. <laughs> literally. Getting the biggest pop of his return, tearing his <laughs> pants. <laughs> the seam of his pants. Yeah. Bad pacing for the opening segment, don't you guys think? Not only was it long, yeah. which that's built in. We know Raw's going to start with a big promo or big setup. But there seemed to be some struggling between Steph and Orton. Steph had to control B- Batista when the mic was dropped in the ring. She was like, idiot, turn around. It's right there. The yeah. crew just brought it to you. She really commanded this entire segment. If it weren't for yeah. her, it would have yeah. oh, fallen, fallen apart completely yeah. as opposed like a, to just yeah. halfway. Well she, well, she first uh, tried to subtly hint. Hey, there's a micro- mm-hmm. microphone. Uh, just <laughs> I know Listen, you've been away just for turn around. <laughs> yeah, like, we have another one for you. <laughs> Tony Chimmel brought you another oh. one. I mean, we did a mic check before this show. Yeah. Right. And we're, you know. I'm sure we're live. S- someone might yeah. be getting fired for that one. You know, Vince is. Mm. 
I hope it's Batista. Just but I just, kidding. I mean, this is the road to WrestleMania. We're two weeks away. I, I, I would have liked to have something a little bit more spectacular or at least mm -hmm. better pacing. Uh, it just didn't work. But that Batista's been away for four years. Orton solid. I never have yeah. a problem with him. It's just, he, he, you know, his pacing is slower than a space shuttle pulled by a pickup truck. And he just, you know, <laughs> Steph's having to control too much in the ring. He's a creator wrestler in 2014. Yeah. He is. I Absolutely. mean, he has. Last week he was amazing, though. Uh, I, I can uh, but I can only. That was I can, his best week ever. That was, his, that was his best week ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, referencing a show that's dead. Um, no, but it was his best week ever. But uh, nine times out of ten, he's just uh, does the standard everything, and he looks like the standard dude in twenty standard athlete in twenty fourteen. If you think mm. of what an MMA fighter looks like, he looks tan and full of tattoos. If you think of a footballer from England, he's tan and full of tattoos. Yeah. If you think of... Uh, but nobody a, wears baby oil like he does. <laughs> so. Which, of course, is now banned, know. right? From NXT, at least, right? <laughs> baby oil is yeah. banned they from NXT. Banned. They banned the substance. I didn't know they that. They said it doesn't look good on HD programming. <laughs> Really? <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying. Check it out. Check it out. The someone, internet never lies. Someone better tell uh, not only Orton, but uh, Bray Wyatt's arms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. Because right. they were shiny. Is it because LL Cool J said that thing about conditioner on your body? Oh, yeah. They're using cool? conditioner now <laughs> instead of baby oil. Maybe it's a I have a problem with Batista's spear. It's, is it supposed to be devastating? Because it mm. looks lazy. Yeah. I have a problem with Batista's everything. <laughs> yeah. Recently. Big Dave is not back. He's lean. I do jujitsu, and I'll never use it in a match. Uh, Batista. Yeah. You would have you would have thought if he was going to make this return to promote Guardians of the Galaxy, and he actually wanted to wrestle, which is his right. Done it right. He, he he did it, you know, for so long. You have the right to come back, I guess. But uh, it just kind of came back and figured I did this before. He should have come back you know. at SummerSlam when Guardians of the Galaxy was going to come out. In August, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, so. It's not like riding a bike for Batista, I guess. But Exactly. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Ripping your pants? Come on! Saving this Watch segment. Harper. He knows how to wrestle in jeans. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> we had a Jean on Jean match later tonight. <laughs> Jean on Jean shorts. That's <laughs> pictured dry Jorts. Who, Jorts. Jorts. Who will win? <laughs> <laughs> but saving this Not segment fashion. was the fatal four-way that we got yeah. next to determine the number one contender for Big E's IC title. Mm -hmm. Sheamus versus Ziggler versus Christian versus ADR. And a lot of action right off the bat. Um, commercial break in between. When we come back, Sheamus... Uh, has this amazing top rope. He's on the top rope, and then Ziggler drops him with, I think you guys call it a super X Factor. We call it a super X Factor. That's what it's being coined as. <laughs> then Christian uh, gets Ziggler out with a, or a sit out power bomb. Is that what it was called? Uh, Sorry, I don't know my. Uh, <laughs> allow me. Michael, allow me. Michael okay, Cole doesn't you. know either. Okay. <laughs> allow me. ADR hit the his. Armbar onto Sheamus. Sheamus muscled him up in order to slam mm -hmm. him. Shades in of the, Bob Backlund. Shades of Bob Backlund. Shades of every like tendon strength man <laughs> in wrestling. Lifted him up and in mid lift, Ziggler hit the zigzag mm -hmm. on Sheamus that was great. and on ADR simultaneously. And in the celebration of said zigzag, he got hit with the kill switch by Christian for the pin. Yes. Thank you. Pretty You're intense welcome. match, too. Christian versus Big E for the IC title. Tomorrow on um, Main Event. Main Event. So sign Live up. Live for the, the network. W yeah. Good promo commercial for WWE Network. Get the network. They really put it all out for a setup for a Main Event match. I would yeah. have loved to maybe see that have some WrestleMania ramifications. But Ziggler, good to get for him to get a moment, get that. His body control on his, his moves, he's so athletic, yeah. he gets to shine, and he really puts us all into the matches when he gets a chance the, the to show. The bumps he takes yeah. are crazy. Yeah. I think that's what holds him back, to be honest. I think that they're afraid. What do they? Vince called it putting in a governor on Mick Foley. I think that he's afraid because I mean, he's gotten how many concussions? No, not right. his fault. Yeah. He's gotten two in the past six months or so. But I think that the reason why, I mean, we heard all those rumors about something happened where he talked back to someone or it was one thing said backstage and they just, you know, that can halt your entire career. See, well, I thought it was the same thing that happened to Ryder where he got injured right during his push. Ziggler got injured with a concussion during mm -hmm. his push. Someone else who was getting like a mid-card push got a concussion and was taken like right out of the picture. Moral of the story is don't have a YouTube show and get hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't wrestle Ryback. Well, I think the other issue is is that they keep telling him 
hey, you don't have to bump like it's WrestleMania yeah. on main event and on our smaller shows. Relax a little bit. But that's what the fans appreciate is that you're giving it your all oh, every single time you're out there, even if it's for a, a live event. I, I agree, and I love Ziggler, but the, but the thing of it is is that when your boss tells you to do something, you do it, whether you like it or not, at least when you're at the stage he's at. And if he listens for a little while and kind of slows down a little bit, I don't know what'll happen to him, yeah. but he may be. They may just say, "Oh, he does listen. Maybe we should invest more in him now." I would think that he would be worried that if he pulls back anymore, that they wouldn't have a, a reason to have him on at all because the yeah. fans then well, wouldn't appreciate what he does. That's as much. the double-edged sword, though. I mean, find that balance. Last yeah. week he got a lim- he got thrown over the top rope and the corner went over the over the post. Yeah. And all of us in the room watching it said he didn't have to do that. Yeah, right exactly. Now. But at the same time we are seeing him more again. Yeah. Um it's even true. though he was off for a really long time. It, it just seems with him going back now 4 or 5 years even, it seems like he's get, gets some momentum, gets some some good heat, kind of starts building and when WrestleMania season comes around, he just kind of Hitters out. It's like creative doesn't have something forward or some kind of you know Is cliche that like that. They have such a huge roster right now. WrestleMania, you bring out the the the, uh, the you know guns. the retired stars, the yeah. part timers. And do you, do you mm-hmm. count the Raw after Mania as still Mania season, or is that all the beginning? I don't. Of, no, okay. I don't. Because if you remember, his greatest moment of all time was the Mania after or the Raw after Mania last yeah. year. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah what do you, that's but that's what I'm saying. It's, you know, that's kind of the season break. Okay. And, and, <laughs> that's and then the you know, then you get he'll, he'll main event a Royal Rumble or something. You know, the season sudden, premiere Monday. Night Raw. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's just one of those enigmas, man. He's he got seems all to get the a talent. January push, like he'll face like a Cena. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. When he had money in the bank and yeah. he's Mr. Survivor Series or yeah. whatever. Yeah, Mr. May. He was yeah. really May, over yeah. in Brooklyn and he's over with me, so I I dig him the most. I'm just I'm not saying I agree with what I say. I'm just saying that's probably the mentality. Mm-hmm. He doesn't listen. That being said, he doesn't <laughs> listen. Who do you guys think will win Big E versus Christian tomorrow? Big E. Big E. Big E. What? There's yeah. no re- there's no they reason for Christian, Christian to have the icy mm-hmm. time. He's, he's out the door. They've been ripping on him like crazy. They constantly mentioned the blue dot on his face, yeah. which yeah. never happened and was pitched as a legit thing for Christian to, to be a part of mm-hmm. because of, you're so ugly. We're gonna have a blue dot on your face the whole time, and it's which is a reference to like the Kennedy kids trial from the '90s, right? Mm-hmm. The girl had a blue dot on her face. Yeah. Well, and, and Vince said he was so ugly he needed and, a blue dot and, on his face. And they would, and you know, instead of digitizing the face for like anonymous interviews, sometimes they put in a blue dot and digitize the voice to sound really like this. And the uh, Frosted Flakes voice. Yeah, the Frosted Flakes. Voice. They're great. Just Keep with the things. voices coming because we have a Wyatt <laughs> promo next. Um, and we determined while watching that if I did the voice of Bray, I would Eva Marie it. So we're going to let No, we, we got we got to hear yours, so <laughs> she did we have four to. four seconds of it and then dubbed herself the Eva Marie because, of because I, I, I didn't write I didn't write down so word bad. for word what he said. I just have paraphrasing. I can't even do it. Okay. He basically but, just said, oh, we see on. you, Cena, run. Come on. <laughs> come on. No, come on. It, you, you gotta do it. Come no. on, please. No. For me? Please. I'll do it after you do it. All right. In the case of John Cena, we all see him. See him on the billboards and on the streets. And we see him all over the world because you're an icon, John Cena. But the problem with icons is that they fade away over time. Whereas gods are immortal at WrestleMania, I'm gonna show you what a god can do to an icon. <laughs> I don't. It, that was not the promo, but that yeah. just, I just, uh, something was within me. You had lips. <laughs> that just pe- it was good. That just petered. You even out. closed your eyes, man. Yeah. You did. I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> it was good. It was like you, you were there, man. You were there. <laughs> Can I just slap someone instead? Okay. <laughs> you, you promised yours. Come on. You did, when you did yours, you were just like, I can see you, John. <laughs> <laughs> like, we see you, John Zeta. <laughs> That's pretty good, except for you sound. <laughs> The worst. The worst. Your, okay. your Bray Wyatt sounds like the Miley Cyrus from SNL. <laughs> Follow the buzzards. Yes. 
Um, <laughs> so. Oh, the best part was next. Yeah. Hell yeah, it was. <laughs> Sneak peek of the new WWE Scooby Doo movie. Oh, God. Oh, and then yeah. the mystery machine yeah. that comes out, yeah. complete with mascot Scooby Doo and <laughs> Sin Cara. Sin <laughs> Cara. I think Chavo Guerrero was in the Scooby Doo costume. <laughs> by the way, I think. We were hoping it was punk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That wasn't going to happen. Well, let's find out who the real Sin Cara is, gang. <laughs> <laughs> Why, it was Hunico the whole time. Would have yeah. gotten away with it, too. Or if it weren't for <laughs> you, you, kids. you meddling kids and your marketing team. <laughs> Who did Damien Sandow make angry? Right. I don't know. Not even an offensive move. He didn't have one. We, this is this the was first, the first uh, yeah. minute-long yeah. match. Um, Sakara, Sin Cara ended up winning with the Swanton, and that was it. Yeah, yeah. that um, happened. Yeah, I mean, poor Sando. I mean, he had the money in the bank. We were talking about that. Like, kind of slowly disappears. He's now he doesn't even have the robe. He doesn't I have think the trimmed his hair, sister. trimmed yeah. his beard. Yeah. The uh, preview of the Scooby Doo movie was longer than this match, <laughs> <laughs> which was just a commercial for the Scooby Doo really? movie. By yeah. the way, I wanted to point out the reason, the main reason I want to see this movie is there is a short is clip. Is everything? Is everything? <laughs> but on top, but the main thing on top is to see John Cena. Do a five knuckle shuffle on what appears to be a fire skull demon mm -hmm. <laughs> in the middle of the ring. I just want to see how that occurs, who the real skull demon is, if it's even called a skull demon. The fire skull demon is never going to get over. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Lord Tenzai part two. Oh. <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch it though. Yeah. How do you get it? I don't even know. I think you have to download it or they have do they have DVD copies? Yeah, Blu-ray DVD. Okay, yeah. Blu-ray DVD. Available at anywhere Blu-rays and DVDs are sold. Probably www.com too. Okay. Oh yeah. So. Absolutely. Or on the internet in other words. Uh we got a recap of SmackDown last week, Kane trying to end the Shield. Which apparently I need to watch SmackDown now. Yeah. A lot of callbacks <laughs> to SmackDown yeah, this week. Yeah. When a lot did of that callbacks happen? to SmackDown, but then a lot of similarities in yeah. two shows yeah. as well. But then you go to also. SmackDown and it's just a rerun for an hour and a half of Raw. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I gotta watch Main Event or and SmackDown. Yeah. <laughs> it's either a, re a rewind of the previous Raw or a preview of the upcoming right. Raw. It's right. both of those together. With five minutes of Camacho tagging with Hunico. <laughs> like, now I almost feel like main event is more important yeah. because they're trying to push the network well, so much Well, they're trying to also that... test the capability yeah. of a live broadcast mm -hmm. on that network, which I, I have so no faith in. For that. One I time. love the network, right. but I have no faith in it. Yeah, yeah I don't... I think that people are... I, I have the network, and I'm going mm. to WrestleMania. But if I wasn't, I might spend the 50, 60 bucks, whatever it is, 70. For the six months... No, for, uh, for, for the pay-per-view. Oh, yeah. This isn't suppose, over the edge or something like that. But it's, but it's like the that, same yeah. price pretty much because you're for the six. You're it, locked in for six months. Yeah, Nine ninety nine right. for six months, which would be sixty bucks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, Versus, I have I have the network. If yeah. I was at home and not oh, going to New gotcha, Orleans, gotcha. I I might buy it on pay-per-view just so I made sure I had it. Okay. So yeah. it didn't. I, I love the network. I'm in love with the network, but there's still those problems that they're going to have. Lagging. Today I watched WrestleMania 9 and the second doink hit Crush five <laughs> times. <laughs> it just kept replaying over and over. Like So they got to work it out. To be fair, that probably made WrestleMania 9 better. better. <laughs> a lot of people said that they haven't had a problem since NXT uh, uh, arrival. I have had major buffering problems. That's yeah. probably yeah. your internet, though. Knock that's on... That's not, your internet. That's not yeah. the network's fault. Hey, hold on now. Don't play something like that. Knock on wood, I have yet to... You need to, to get that Fios. I, I, I do. I don't, I'm not happy with my provider. <laughs> I've yet to have a problem. Yeah. Knock on wood. Just where, like, It's going to happen at WrestleMania. Well, I now. talked to you during NXT arrival, and yours went out at the same time. Well, but that was, uh, aside, no, from, aside from that... They did that. actually have that. That was the one... Okay. They did have it cut out at one point. Yeah. So buffering just, is my fault. But, since, but buffering but, since then is your fault. I can blame someone for that, though. Yourself for being cheap and not buying <laughs> better internet. Boo <laughs> yourself, Brado. Wow. <laughs> just, it's, it, it's welcome to the future. When True Detective knocks off HBO Go, WrestleMania 30 might just yeah. cause some problems. Brado, in the words um, of Batista, deal with it. Ellen DeGeneres made Twitter right. yeah. malfunction with her retweet at the Oscars. Yeah. So. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> as much as I love pro wrestling and WrestleMania, it's not the Oscars. <laughs> and it's not Twitter. 
You know. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? Well, I didn't mean to bring the room down, but I did. <laughs> That's my Oscars, buddy. Another thing Don't bringing worry. the room down, down was Los Matadores. Yes. 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 El Great segue. <laughs> <laughs> Their music hit, and we all grunted. <laughs> <laughs> um, just like El Torito. Oh, um, God. Los Matadores versus Rivaxel. Oh. Both have tag title shots at WrestleMania, but none of the the people will be in um, the Andre the Giant match, is what we found out tonight. Yeah, they're switching that around. So The good thing about this is that it was short. Yes. Yeah. Another minute-long match. Match starts, Shield distracts, and Los Matadores, one of them, one of the Matadores. Uh, it was either Zorro or the Dread Pirate yeah. Roberts. <laughs> I couldn't tell which they one. They roll up Axel for the win. Afterwards, Shield gets in the ring. Takes out Axel and triple power bombs Ryback. Destroys the number one contender mm -hmm. for the tag titles. There was a yeah. lot of shield love tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and what's interesting with Los Matadores, and that's the only interesting thing, is Carlos Colon <laughs> going into the Hall of Fame. They've already revealed them to be his like relatives on, yeah. on the on the website. Uh, could they be phasing out? Hopefully, that tag team. Maybe uh, they said that they've been doing stuff uh, more and more without the masks. Like I've noticed. Oh, really? In like a WrestleMania rewind, they showed them without the masks with their uh, Matador's names. Mm. It's just confusing. Honestly, Maybe I'm wrong, but I, that sounds like correct. So down at NXT, they have a lack of tag teams. I don't understand why they wouldn't bring the Los Ascension. Matadores oh. down and have them face the Ascension down there or do something with them down there since clearly they're not getting over on the main roster. That little bull is. El Torito is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Whose name in Spanish is the little boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course it is. Yes. Tensai just means genius in Japanese. So, mm -hmm. did they not say that Carlos Colon was going to be in the Hall of Fame on Raw? They never announced it on Raw. It was announced on SmackDown. Smack, yeah. on Smack, is they, that because of what I think it is? About? No, they ran out of they ran out of time on Raw, so they announced it at SmackDown. Okay. It was a timing mm -hmm. issue. It wasn't what you think it was. It wasn't what I think it is. Invader. Even though Invader. It, yeah, even though it probably should have been for that reason. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing what I think it was is the reason he was not in for so long, though. Uh, likely. Google it, everyone. Google it. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know. Uh, Invader one, Carlos Cologne. It's bound to be on the first page. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> after this segment, Michael Cole interviews Triple H in the middle of the ring. Cole asks Triple H um, to justify the attack last week on Daniel Bryan. Triple H says he was defenseless, he was helpless, because Daniel Bryan and the Yes movement made Triple H feel like he had no choice. Daniel Bryan asked for the game, and how many times did he ask to fight him? Um, he forced his hand and made Triple H a competitor. The fans the Yes Movement, all the people involved got what they asked for, and Daniel Bryan got what he deserved. It was, it was a good promo, but don't wrestling fans love a Charlie Rose-style sit-down <laughs> interview? Yeah. I, uh, you know, I hadn't had a good, good look at Michael Cole in a while because I don't pay attention <laughs> right. to, uh, to someone like him, but if you added a goatee, he would, he would have looked dead on like a young wolf blitzer. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, a easily. Bit. But the promo was good. Yeah. Trip. That was Triple H. Calling it the reality yeah. now. But like yeah. Triple H. He's sick, of, he's sick of us and our generation yeah. it, it, being apathetic. It, 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 My favorite line was when he said, um, when they, <coughs> the wrestling fans, don't get what they want, they cry about it. Why don't you send me a tweet? Oh, yeah. Twitter yes. disappointment. <laughs> Twitter dis. <laughs> you know, he also called the fans uh, apathetic, soft, and pathetic because, once again, Triple H has to bury everyone he talks about in the promo <laughs> yeah. because the fans. And also labeled this the reality era. Which, that yeah. happened with Punk's this promo. Is what's 2011. 2011. Right. But this is more... But that's what's genius about what's happening is yeah. because what, <clears throat> if you're uh, just a legitimate wrestling fan, you hate him for just being... You know the persona that Triple H is. Right. If you're one of the IWC wrestling fans, you uh, you're falling into the trap of, oh, he's everything I've ever read on the internet being true. Right. Oh my God, how is he gonna screw Daniel Bryan this time? What he For said, real backstage. What, uh, he said he had the power to make it happen. That's a wink to 
like the nerdiest fans, like my, like me being like, he would do that. Right. Yeah, right. he would do that. He, he would walk would out of thirty as a champion because he thinks he's the best. But that's why it sets it up so so well because exactly. we're kind of wondering, would he be that much of a d bag and <laughs> do this to all the fans? Would they riot in the streets of New Orleans? I hope and not. I don't think so. I, he is too smart. He's too no, yeah. well versed in, in the wrestling. It has oh. this questioning. Sure, it's, but that's yeah. that's what was great about the promo. Yeah, yeah that yeah. is. He, yeah, a man who was trained by Killer Kowalski knows the business and knows what the fan he they're sensing it. But he's it, all about the game and how he plays. It. Sure, it's, it's all sure about control and if you can take it. <laughs> so I think it's, it's all about debt and if you can pay it. It's WrestleMania 28 with the 18 second match. Finally, it's this two year storyline and and he's setting it up. I think really good, other than the sit down interview style tonight, but. <laughs> You know. Well, they've been doing that on the website, I guess. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. weekly. And he, yeah. he didn't show up this week. Yeah. <laughs> Next match, we have Cody Rhodes versus Fandango. Before that, we got a recap from last Monday Night Raw where Goldust faced Fandango. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. But they, they kind of edited that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Goldust went anger. from full face paint to barely any with <laughs> yeah. blood. Yes. <laughs> And really angry. And, and back again <laughs> to having a full face paint. Yeah. I do love Goldust with Summer Ray. It's that flashback to that old crazy stuttering gold dust when he was kind of like unhinged. They like, had a diva off. I also loved how when they made their entrance, Goldust the had a mask on, yeah. took off the mask, I didn't even know he was wearing one, and just puts it on the face of a kid. You you're now. not Rey Mysterio, no. Goldie. Oh, oh. You're not. That you're kid frightening is, children. That kid is horrified right now. That put on the mask. If you want to buy it on the website, it's 10% off if you're a serial killer. Just put in <laughs> promo code Nightmare. <laughs> you're good. Uh, well, what was with Lawler. Uh, the commentary was all over the place. Yeah. If, she with, if she dies, she dies. They were if calling she dies, she dies. They called her. Stooge. He's like, what? I thought she was a go go dancer because when I first met her, she said, go, go. Hey, uh, uh, that's, that's pretty consistent hey, with that. I'm trying to be new Bobby Heenan. Hey. Last week he said that uh, he gets girls with pull ups. I pull up in my car, I pull up in my bar. Sometimes I get the sense JBL and Lawler just forget they're on a national TV show and they just start talking to each other. Yeah. Like it's just, and Cole's in the middle going, hey guys, guys, guys. <laughs> and sometimes Cole says something and JBL's like, that's stupid, Michael. <laughs> Why would you bring that? And I'm going to harp on this for the next three minutes. Minutes. She thinks his name is Maggle. Maggle? <laughs> I, I I believe it's M Y G G L E in all caps. Maggle. 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 Um, so Gold Dust dances for Summer Ray outside the ring. Fandango gets distracted, and Cody capitalizes on this, gets the win over Fandango with the disaster kick. Yes. Remember a year ago, Chris Jericho was putting Fandango over <laughs> oh, yeah. at WrestleMania? God. Fandango wins his debut match on yeah. the biggest pay-per-view of the year. <laughs> Showcase of the Immortals in his pants. And a year later, this is what we got. And God he, bless Jericho. And he didn't even... Oh, Fandango is another concussion case. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But he is still on Total Divas, so you know that they like him. Yeah. Oh, he was yeah. showing Eva Marie her naked pictures last night. Uh, uh, and, 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 like, maybe are he and Summer Rae really together? Oh, my gosh. Well, I, uh, oh, we're going to find out. I made DVR that show. I apologize. <laughs> I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> I'm waiting. Don't start. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, last night's show. Oh, oh, okay. Um, Come on. We can watch it together if okay. you want. But. <laughs> Did you not know that Eva Marie had nudie pics? Uh, no, I guess not. But I guess it no. was like good. I guess it was like good. Mm. And I didn't get that Brazzers joke that you had yeah. before the show. <laughs> I yeah, the last he's he's not really done anything other than a complete nosedive in the past year. Yeah, yeah. which I thought it started good, but it's it kind of like started Brodus Clay. very solidly. When the Funka, Funkadactyl thing, or Funkasaurus thing came out, it was like, yeah, I'm on board for yeah. people. Yeah. We're go doing Fandango's Fandango right. thing. Yeah. Yeah, my Everywhere. friend, uh, my friend Brendan uh, claims to have started the fandangoing at Raw the next night. He oh, claims it have, was him. We have mm. a lot of people that tweeted us that they started it. So mm -hmm. there are okay. a lot of people from the UK that he's right. He lives in the UK. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so maybe it's the same Brendan. person. Oh my gosh, do we know the same person? I don't know. <laughs> it's a small world. <laughs> That's a lot of Brandons. <laughs> by hearing the show, and I, I don't know where you guys were on this. By hearing the show, I, I was totally confused of what we're actually going to see at WrestleMania. Okay. Like, the Card's not set, I, other than some of the 
big things. It's changing things. I'm in the, the Andre the Giant bout. No, I'm not in the... I'm in a tag match. I'm kind of confused by this time in all these shows. What's What am I going to watch? I think, I think they're, they're just including it. everyone. Yeah. Yeah. They're trying to include everyone. I, I know and, it can't be the old days where, like, the, the card for WrestleMania 9 was set in January. We, yeah. you know, we what got, are you all up on 9 for? I don't know. I <laughs> Because I watched it today. I had my toga on. It was good. Fresh, he fresh came back in in, backwards on an elephant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Giant Gonzalez. I wore that fur patch uh, costume. I have a WrestleMania 9 question. How, yeah. did, how did Hogan get the black eye? Um, I, parasailing accident. Okay. Right? Wait. Right? Uh, I, th- or, there's, or, a, there's a lie on top of the lie. I don't yeah. know what it is. But there was. Uh, they said on the commentary, weightlifting incident. <laughs> then they said backstage, parasailing right. accident. And, Who punched uh, him in the face? <laughs> and then yeah. they said Randy I'm Savage. I'm going to say Bret Hart yeah. because Bret Hart, he got screwed Bret Hart, royally. Or Randy that, Savage punched or, him in the face. Or, or, yeah, oh, yeah. Speaking mm. of Hulk Hogan coming back from commercial, his music hits and the crowd goes crazy. I did. Um, <laughs> then, what? I, I just said I did too. Oh, okay. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Joe Maginoli come out. <laughs> Joe Maginoli? Yes. Joe Mololo? Hogan pulled um, a Travolta on, Ma- on Mange- Manigello. Manigello? Maginello. Arnold Schwarzenegger Manigello? is surprisingly the only person on this entire show who pronounces mm-hmm. it correctly. But great promo. <laughs> Fans <laughs> loved it. They did. Um, they loved it. And He's a big uh, dude. Uh, yeah. yeah. Andre the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> Andre the Giant promoting the Andy the Giant Battle Royal. Yes. <laughs> Andy the Giant. Um, you yeah. know, breaching it. But Arnold and Joe asked to be in the Andy the Giant 30 man <laughs> battle royal. And the Miz comes out. Uh. He says he's going to win the Andre the Giant battle royal and says that the Hulk and the other guys don't belong there. Yeah, breaking news Miz is a tough guy. This, according to Miz. <laughs> yeah. He mentions um, the movies that he's been in See, and how I, he's an actor. I groaned when he came out, also. Yeah. But when he said that line about the Marine 3 and the Christmas bounty, I did laugh. Yeah. It was funny. I, I just love that Arnold Schwarzenegger just did a back fist. <laughs> On the mid. Like a, yeah. yeah, he slapped, he backhand slapped. He just, right and then he just, he just button boom. super yeah. Hogan punch. threw him over the top rope. Yeah, Hogan chucked him. Yeah, over. Hogan threw Miz out of the ring with the enough force to open up like a pasta sauce bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Name of the pasta? Name of the pasta. Maganello. Maganello. <laughs> Maganello. Maganoli? Yes. I just, I, in my notes for the segment, I just wrote down, hooray for everything. <laughs> <laughs> but the crowd was into it. That's though. what I'm saying. Celebrity, yeah. Yeah, most celebrity segments, it's boo, it's silence. They, it Arnie, on Hogan, they were good. Hogan put over the movie and those two guys. Did a great job. Arnie right? put over his they co-star love and Arnold. Hogan. They love they Arnold. They love Arnold. Yeah. And, I think that's what it is. And Joey Magamomomo <laughs> put over everyone there. <laughs> bigger than this. And Brooklyn. Well, Joey Bag of Donuts actually had a Joey good Bag of Donuts. <laughs> he did. He had a good promo. Joey Chestnuts did very well in that yeah. promo. Yes. <laughs> and, and good for Hogan, who like months, four months ago was doing this in front of 40 people in the TNA parking lot. So he's here. <laughs> it's good. I'm glad to see him back where he belongs. Yeah. Uh, came crashing down and it hurt inside. <laughs> Next up, we have Big Show versus Titus O'Neil. Oh. Yeah, we did. Yet another <sighs> Squash. short match. CM Punk chant breaks out during this and Titus started off with some strong offense, but very, very quickly, the big show won with a knockout punch. Titus wasn't given the full Sandow, at least. No. Mm-hmm. He got some moves. Mm-hmm. I don't know There's what that accomplished. Bit. What did that match accomplish at Nothing. all? They're both in the Battle Royal. Yes. Yeah. So, Which is exactly what the last segment was all about. So they're yeah. making everyone think Big Show's going to win, which means he won't. There's a lot Man. of time spent, and I get the historical significance of something in, in honor of Andre, but a lot of time spent on a match that's going to be 30 guys pushing each other for yeah, five yeah, minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it's going to be anticlimactic, I think. Uh, it, it, it's a show opener, maybe. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. a bathroom break They're match. talking maybe pre-show. Oh, that'd be... Or mm. a buffer between um, some yeah. of the heavy hitting matches. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, that's, that's essentially all these matches are going to be, because we have, you know, Brian Tripp's, the World Heavyweight Title Triple Threat, yeah. And Taker Lesnar. So yeah. we have need well, at Cena, least Cena Wyatt. And Cena Wyatt. So we need at least three buffers Battle in between Royal, those four. Divas. Mm-hmm. You got the Usos match and you have the Shield match. Yeah, that's, see? So that's eight? Yeah. Well, they're saying eight it's matches? gonna be about eight card match. Okay. Eight mm-hmm. eight match card, excuse me. Yeah. Um a lot of time you would think. There's a lot of time yeah. in eight eight matches and about four hours they can go for. But Undertaker's yeah. entrance will be at least ten yeah, 15 exactly. minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was awesome tonight, which we will talk about later. <laughs> oh, but 
Backstage, Triple H and Stephanie are talking. The Shield approach them, and they're wondering where they stand with the Authority and with Kane after everything that happened last week. Triple H says that's between you and them. Um, them, of course, being Kane and New Age Outlaws. Steph then says, how about we give you a match tonight? You guys against the real Americans. Yes. That was weird for me. When they show, when the shield it didn't really sh- make sense. When the shield but... showed up, Triple H actually goes, "Oh hey, <laughs> I was, did you I was, hear that?" I was so hey I was so starved for good wrestling at this point. I didn't yeah. care. Yeah, it, it's never made wrestling. sense that the shield is so anti the locker room that they can't enter from it, but they're always backstage. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a logic leap, but obviously something they gotta collect minor. their paycheck somehow. That's true. <laughs> and what com- would you want to work for a company where like, hey, last week those other employees beat me up. Well, that's between you guys. I'm the boss. It, of the company. It really <laughs> seems, you work it out. You go to HR about though. that. There's a divide between Kane and Steph and Triple H. Like, mm-hmm. he works for them, but he's not completely doing all of their bidding. That's like, odd. Again, yeah. odd. this is the frequent problem. Who's in charge of what? Brad Maddox. They're, well, Fact. or Vicky Guerrero. Fact. Or Teddy Long. Or Fact. Teddy Long. Or Kane. Yeah. Or, or Stephanie. Or Triple H. Or, or the old man. Or the old man. Mm-hmm. A lot of Who's authority now? figures. It's like the inmates are in charge of the asylum. I will say, though, it is uh, kind of nice that the veterans, Kane and, and the outlaws, have kind of requested, especially outlaws, requested to work with the S.H.I.E.L.D. on their way out, because we're hearing rumors now of Kane retiring. Before they break up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, before they break up, exactly. It's kind of cool for the young guys that might be a passing of the torch match, and uh, you know, excited to see what they can do. Yeah. We'll see. All of them are great. I just don't like if Triple H and Stephanie are complete evil heels at at certain points. Then they are uh, nice. Oh hey, yeah. to the shield, <laughs> to the newly baby faced shield. Oh hey, well, hey guys. if you if you think about it, they they are acting heelish towards the shield by not giving them a good explanation, saying you're on your own. Yeah, but it's just. Oh, and by the way, you're going to fight the real Americans. Yeah, I just I don't, it's not consistent for me. That, like he's he's the cerebral assassin, or he's not. You know what I mean? Nah, I get you. He, was he wasn't Paul. as he was Paul. In that he's thing. just Paul. Hey guys, Paul. Well, he was. You know, he and, and his wife were just done making kissy faces at each other. He's not going to go full rage <laughs> right then. Well, I want him to. I guess, instead of being like, oh, hey, Shield. You want a bipolar Triple H? Is that what you want? I think he is bipolar. Right? <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> so from backstage to the bathroom. Oh, oh my god! Oh, what Cena, was John oh Cena god. doing? He was washing his face. Intently. Like what had he been doing? After he pooped? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a rough one. He got it on his Gonna face. have to get a good... <laughs> Splash on him. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I need a... Uh, just need a yeah. just need a break. I need I need refreshment after that. So he washes Splash his cold face. Water in the face. And then in the mirror we see the lamb mask. <laughs> 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 he turns around and there's no lamb mask. Oh god. Do you know what this uh old school wrestling fans, if you recall Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior 2 for uh WCW Halloween Havoc, when Hogan saw the Ultimate Warrior in the mirror. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't there, and everyone is saying, Hogan, what are you talking about? <laughs> That's what this segment reminded me of. Because we at home can see the warrior in the mirror, or in this case, the sheet mask. So either we're crazy along with John Cena. I think they're crazy. Or they're crazy. You knew it also wasn't Rowan there. It was yeah. someone holding the mask <laughs> around the corner, and I know who it was. Who was it? Eva Marie. Yep. <laughs> well, I thought Eric we established Rowan that she would have you. dropped the mask <laughs> yeah. on accident. If, it if was she you. did hold it up, yeah. What that segment establishes is that the Wyatt family watched John Cena go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they watched Total Divas. And they watched Total Divas. <laughs> oh, maybe they watched Total Divas in the bathroom. Yeah. On their phones. Bathroom on their TV. phones, yeah. I was watching it in the bathroom, John. <sighs> You guys gonna both see this new shirt? See you. I gotta stop eating Thai food, John. <laughs> Cut a hole in the wall like Porky's John. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. <laughs> Cena comes out. Take with, it off slow, John. You have good hygiene, John. His new t shirt. Unlike my brothers. I use the same form of loofah, John. <laughs> Cena comes out mm-hmm. with his new t shirt. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Um, and then, Say it again. You can't stop me. <laughs> it even sounds childish. You can't stop me. You can't stop me. Can't stop me now. Um, so the Wyatt's music hits. 
the Wyatt's Music Hits. <laughs> and Luke Harper, just so committed throughout all oh, yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. He's really showing a lot of personality. And yeah. we know he has the back, you know, he knows how to wrestle. Brody Lee, he knows how to do it. But he's, the eyes, he's starting to really show some personality. Yeah. On his own. He knows just the like character. He's down with the character. I think yeah. that he's learning a lot from Bray. Yeah. You just look creepy. That's that's a, that's the way he looks. They all own he it. He just yeah. slams and he just goes. And the crowd was really behind Luke Harper. It's oh the God, yes. It's they the recognize lover, good yeah. talent. Oh, well, they recognize they a recognize former that. Ring of Honor and and uh, Chikara performer. That crowd performer. recognized that somebody was facing Cena. Yes. <laughs> there's so a lot, there's that there's too. A lot yeah. there. We got a Fruity Pebbles yeah. chant during this match. Yeah. Um, great match overall, but no real finish. Ends with the lights going out. They come back on, and Cena is in a lamb mask with his arms tied in the ropes. The sacrifice of Cena. Yes. <clears throat> What'd you guys think of this match? This was awesome. That's what they chanted when he this had his mask. Awesome. That, that chant. No, that's also what I feel. Yeah. Is he the biggest guy that does a tope? I'm gonna say yes. That's the when you jump between the it's, second and, uh, the, and, and the Cena upper. took it pretty hard. And hit, <laughs> yeah. and hit in the barricade, and, and we were talking and we were watching it. Cena gets a bad rap for being a, a, maybe a bad worker. He rises to the occasion. He can work with guys, and, and Harper knows yeah. how to wrestle. He knows yeah. how to put the moves on. And so it was a very entertaining match. Maybe not quite pay per view quality or not like big four pay per view quality, but it was it was up there. It was oh, fun. Yeah, it was up there. It was it was a great TV match, and the whole purpose of this this match is to build up right Bray versus Cena, which they needed to do. Yeah. Because it doesn't feel mania worthy at this point. Or I mean, yeah. before tonight. It's 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 uh, outside of the box Cena versus a new guy, so to speak. So yeah. it, it's uncharted territory because normally, if you follow normal booking leading up to a pay per view, you're going to try to put uh, you know if Cena was getting a bunch of wins, your your good money's on Bray winning. But right. it's going back and forth. It's it's uncharted territory for me because Cena could realize, hey, I got to put this guy over as one of the biggest heels in the yeah. biz. And it's one of the few times in which he's booked to look weak. And not know what's happening. It doesn't make right. sense to me that he was afraid of Bray Wyatt because it's like you challenged him to a match. You've been calling him out like every week. Mm -hmm. it, you're not afraid of him. Well, maybe the story is he oh, he underestimated Bray Wyatt, and he's yeah. like, "Oh crap, what did I do?" Yeah, yeah no, it could be. But it, <laughs> this guy isn't the joke I thought he it's was. It's a weakness in a Cena character we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. know, it's, it's, there's no false bravado ness <laughs> from him. Yeah, Two you chance, committed the sin of year ever. Two chance bother me. One is when. People what the Undertaker, which has happened. Right, disrespect. You do not what the dead man. <laughs> yeah. And when they chant, you can't wrestle at Cena. It's like, well, yes, he can. It's <laughs> just Lamaine's following what they've been told, as, as we all know. But yeah, uh, I I agree with you there. Cena, Cena, just that that match with CM Punk proved it. In those other matches, he Money it's like Hogan in Japan. Hogan in yeah. Japan could put on the moves, and and he in <coughs> WWE or F at the time, he knew what five moves in him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big boot and leg drop. <clears throat> I've not actually watched a Hone Hogan in Japan match. I have watched Cena put on awesome matches consistently. <laughs> yeah. I know he does the five moves of Doom, and I don't want to get like all kinds of crazy YouTube comments, but John Cena has oh, a well. five-star match, and Br Daniel, Daniel Bryan, Bryan does not. So it's not an easy thing. How dare you, sir? I know Daniel <laughs> Bryan is my favorite wrestler, yeah. and I think he's yeah. the best worker in the world, but John Cena has, like, you know, and he has a... What was the BuzzFeed thing you were looking up today? Oh, oh man. No. I got this got sent to me. You ripped over Pandora's <laughs> box now. Yeah. You the, have you have 25 seconds to talk about the it. The top 287 <laughs> matches of all time in WrestleMania history. That's all the matches were ranked and I disagree with it completely. But that's um, as I, which is why the internet was built for yeah, lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the worst match was Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler. Oh, the so best WrestleMania match number 1 a match I love, but it is not number one in my mind, Savage Warrior from WrestleMania 7. Agreed. Yeah, I'd say that's top five for me, but maybe not one. For yeah. nostalgia purposes or for wrestling no, I just purposes? love that match. If you watch the story they tell in yeah, that yeah, match, yeah. Savage is a, is a ring general. I mean, that, uh -huh. they, they rehearsed that as much as he did with Steamboat at three. Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, my God. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's an underrated match, but is it is a number one, no. Savage if, Steamboat got number eight. If you want to hear... Sounds right. Mike's top ten tweet him because he has, he's very opinionated. Shawn Michaels, that. Rachel, no, not in the top ten. Yeah, that's that's tragic. that's a crime because that's a historic match as yeah. they sold later on in the show. Yeah. Indeed, indeed. Sorry. The next match of the night we have AJ Lee versus Naomi, respectively, accompanied by Cameron and Tamina Snuka um, to the ring. Good match. Um, Good but match, bad eye patch. Minute, bad eye patch. <laughs> from, definitely a, from a distance, bad Naomi's eye patch. eye patch looked like one of the Usos missed. It was just not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. White 
splotchy yeah. starfish. Mm. Yeah, mm. it, it kind of reminded me of Long Shot from the X-Men, and I don't like Long Shot from the X-Men, so no, thank you. Um. Who's looking at her eye, if you know what I mean? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But Naomi, Naomi knows how to work, and she she had a little bit of a moment before they broke it this down. This was such yes. a great match, it, and then they yeah. stopped. The first 50 seconds, Naomi was on fire, and then AJ gets out of the rig and gets counted out. Mm. And that's just how it ends. Being a heel. Mm -hmm. Cowardly. But wait. Vicky comes out, calls <laughs> AJ a bitch. <gasps> the PG show. Excuse me? Mm. Um, and then she says, at WrestleMania, you will compete in the... Vicky Guerrero Divas Championship Invitational. Mm -hmm. Championship Champion Invitational? Championship? Championship Invitational. Championship okay. Invitational. And she will be competing against Naomi, Cameron, Brie Bella, Nikki Bella, Natty, Eva Marie, Emma, Oksana, Alicia Fox, Summer Rae, Rosa Mendez, Layla, and Tamina And Snuka. Wendy Richter. No. <laughs> All these women are competing in the VGDCI? Yes. Wow. All of them. Wow. All of them. I think it's great that Andre the Giant gets a match and Vicky, Vicky Guerrero <laughs> gets a match too. And the, the um, winner gets a Vicky Guerrero trophy. Oh man. <laughs> and it looks exactly like the chocolate. Andre one. <laughs> made out of chocolate. It's the same trophy as Unfortunately, Andre. Unfortunately, I feel like this is going to be a 7 minute match. Like they're not going to give it work? ample time. I don't know how it works. Uh they <laughs> It's they, a gauntlet? Yeah, it's a gauntlet. It's a gauntlet. Okay. Yeah, it's a gauntlet. It's the same as uh um Ken, you were mentioning this in the room. The, the, the cruiserweight. Yeah, it was like uh, the cruiserweight the invitational from WrestleMania 20, back, back in which then, there's yeah. 9 million talented people, and they only get one second to showcase their stuff at the right. biggest Eva Marie show and Jerry year. Lawler will have the same amount of WrestleMania <laughs> matches. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I hope she pulls the strap down. Um, but, <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know. Oy. Ken, that was awesome. Um, <laughs> Speaking of Eva Marie, thank you to uh, Little Ki07 on Twitter for making a Kathy Kelly is better than Eva uh, Marie sign yeah. and brought it to Raw tonight in Brooklyn. Unfortunately, got confiscated, but it's a thought it that So if you'd like to send her <laughs> bail, the only, her. the only signs that get confiscated are the ones that are true. That's mm. a fact, yeah. Why would they confiscate that? Because they don't want the world to know that, that Kathy Kelly is better than Eva uh, Marie. Yeah. But the world will find out soon enough. The world, world, the world will know. Yeah. The world knows. We used to have AfterBuzz signs at pretty much every single Raw taping, mm. which was pretty cool. S stop. Gotta step your game up again. Stop doing the CM Punk chants. Start chanting Kathy Kelly. It's Can I have an at Brido for the next Raw? At Brido. <laughs> at Brido. <laughs> at Brido. You don't have to. Just put nice. my face on top of Eric Rowan's in a picture of the Wyatt family. That's all. That's good enough for me. <laughs> you know you want to. Deep That's down. what's really under the mask. That's what Your face. <laughs> yeah. so. And then he takes the takes the, the face of my mask and it's Eric Rowan underneath. <laughs> Just a mask and a mask and a mask. We get another Hall of Fame announcement. Scott Hall. No, not no, Scott Hall. No, not Scott oh, Hall. not Scott Hall. It's Who was Razor, it? Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. Razor Ramon. I was Rumble. out of the room drinking. It's the same person. Now, <laughs> now, wait. Does this mean... And I don't know who either of them are anyways. Now, so. oh. now, does this mean that Scott Hall and the guy that played the fake Razor will both go yes. up uh, and get their own Hall of Fame statue? Potentially. Because it's the character. You get a ring, not a statue. Really, okay. really <laughs> interesting that One they're leaving out Scott Hall and NWO. Could it be because they're going to induct that whole group later on? They sometimes Probably. do stuff like that. Yeah. Or the click. That makes yeah. more sense. It's really, I mean, because they're not shying away from, you know, Abdullah the Butcher's in the Hall of Fame. Right. For, and, you yeah. know, yeah. all those guys. The who, four horsemen are in the Hall right. of Fame. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I, it's really clear cut that they've made that decision to just uh, reward Razor Ramon. Now, or, who do you think will induct him? I'm thinking Xbox slash Sean Waltman, maybe, or Nash? Nash. Trips. Uh, trips. It's either Nash. HBK. HBK, HBK Triple maybe, H. Yeah. Diamond Double Page is doing Jake Roberts, right? Yeah. So you know, I don't know if he'll do he'll double do, duty. Double duty as DDP Double yoga. duty, Di Diamond Dallas Page? Yeah. He's got to watch Jake while uh, Scott's on stage. Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> um, Too soon. And Have to do man sitting? I, You're going to be there, right? Yes, I will. So It'll be live on the network, like crashing, but I'll get, mm -hmm. well, you know what's going on. That's fun. <laughs> I get, <laughs> I get a chance to go to the Hogan Piper Orndorff uh, that that 2005 Hall of Fame induction. It's fun. It's it's a full nostalgia ride. Yeah. It's great. What a great Hall of Fame class! It really is for this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. They like hit everyone from a lot of different angles. Like it was a great uh, women's wrestler, a great manager. 
Now, are uh, they done? They're not. We're not going to get like a sneak attack, Randy Savage next week. Like, mm, uh, I wouldn't think so. No, they're absolutely done. If they're yeah. going to pull the trigger on Savage, he's going to be the main inductee or one of the main inductees. They did San Martino late last year, though, right? Or was it? I'm trying to remember, uh, but because it was Mick Foley was the first announced. Yeah. yeah. Did I want to say like Backlund? Yeah. And then, but to be fair, Bruno San Martino has been out of action for God knows how long, and. While and while I enjoy his matches, and he's been you enjoy a San Martino bear hug match. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoy good psychology. I'm sorry. Uh, while I enjoyed uh, some of his matches, and he is an icon, being an eight-year world champion and all that. That was he's not necessarily as familiarized in the public eye. In and fact, not tonight, a big of a draw. Tonight and, was the first time he was ever you know, mentioned on a show that he actually got a pop outside of Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he's big in New York. I know. Right now, no. territories, bro. Yeah. Madison Square Garden, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the Garden. I think this is it for, for this crew, I, uh, I I think. But next year we're hoping... Um, Savage might never come, unfortunately, but we're talking about the ones that are left. Yeah. So there's a lot to put in. But Owen Hart, that's one I'm Owen pushing for. Bulldog. Yeah. Demolition. What else would you guys put in? The Rock. The Rock, yeah. yeah. Might as well. That seems a little too soon, though. I don't think he's it ever going to wrestle again. Wouldn't have been if he, if he never came back, yeah. yeah. Right. So, uh, next week... We have Randy Orton versus Batista. <laughs> in a skinny the, jeans match. In the mm. original WrestleMania main event match. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Winners gets losers pants. Here's the match we've already planned out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. not going to happen. But the next match of tonight was The Shield versus Real Americans, yeah. which was by far the best match. Yeah. Oh. Um, Ambrose, mm. Rollins, and Reigns make their way to the ring. The real Americans coming down, and the Shield just run out and start attacking them before the match even starts. Bell rings, and Cesaro and Ambrose kick things off. Rollins was just on fire the entire time. Um, Cesaro ends up taking a huge bump over the top rope, um, which warrants a holy S chant <laughs> and um, swagger. Puts, uh, ends up putting Rollins in the Patriot lock, but Rollins gets to the rope just in time, bounces up. Rollins wins with the peace of mind, is what they're calling That's it. Yeah. Over swagger. Yeah, the. And after the match, Reigns just goes on a spear spree. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The three of them destroy the commentary table and then triple power bomb Cesaro through the table. It's an interesting choice that it was Cesaro. Yeah, a instead of swagger. Yeah. <clears throat> I think because he knows how to take it. Probably, <laughs> he knows well, he knows how to take it, and also uh, maybe this features Cesaro more on television than mm-hmm. Swagger. Which I was wondering, a year from now or so, when we look back and see the interactions between like Reigns and Cesaro now, mm-hmm. it, 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 are we going to look back and go, "Wow, that's two of the biggest guys back then, kind of learning to to work with each other." Maybe not oh, quite. That's a, what I was thinking. Yeah. Not quite oh, Rockers yeah. Heart Foundation when you go back and be like, "Oh, look, Brett and Sean they working it the out," future. but but they could possibly, definitely Reigns, and I I hope Cesaro. They'd and be, Rollins recently, oh, like oh, as a oh, league, he's yeah. just been amazing. That and flip is going to get him over. Ambrose yeah. bumps like. No, he's not. The, the run is over. Yeah. But, the running yeah. curb stomp is. Is over. Just <laughs> give it a better name. Yeah. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. It's been fun watching Rollins, who comes in with a lot of skill, watch him grow and get more confident in the ring and mm-hmm. on TV over the last year. Yeah. Yeah. It's clear now. They he, all make each other better, and yeah. at the same time, they're all kind of fighting to be the best one because they feel like only one of them is going to be... I yeah. thought that Rollins was going to take the biggest hit after they broke up, but now it doesn't seem that right. way. It I think like all of them are Teflon. They're all going to be fine yeah. after this. There, there is no... They're the future of the hate WWE. hate to say it. There is no Janetti on the Shield right. team. There's no swagger on the Shield. <laughs> <laughs> I get with the swagger. Yes. Man, those crowds love the We the People chants. Yeah, that they is do. over, huh? Well, they yeah. love, the they love Cesaro. <coughs> yeah, Cesaro. Love and the Zeb. Cesaro it's amazing. Then. Cesaro, yeah, with the, the big spin. How many times did he do it tonight? 20. 20, yeah. Yeah, it was extra long. Tonight. It was extra long. It's like they were trying to make up for the short one minute who cares matches. From the pr- from they did. earlier in the show, it it's did so its job. Amazing. It's yeah. so funny they wanted Zeb Coulter a year ago to get Swagger over as this like evil like Tea Party right. type dude. Don't give them such like an awesome thing to say, and don't give them Cesaro, <laughs> who's amazing. <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I don't know, like he's 
They could be two baby faces a year from now, right. and we could, you know. Well, it's a testament to letting things kind of grow organically, too. You tr- they yeah. force fed the Zeb and Swagger thing, and it's kind of grown and turned into this. Like, it's almost a face thing. The crowd loves We the People, they love yeah. Cesaro. And, yeah, and, and if you like notice, Jack, but Zeb's rhetoric, while uh, still jingoistic, is yeah. softened and has yes. gotten to the point of hilarious cartoon absurdity yes. yeah. that people the don't big really mind. They're like, helps oh, with the uncle, yeah. oh, Uncle Zeb, will yeah. you ever learn? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Instead of a social commentary. So after the match and the spearing and the triple power bomb, Kane's pyro and music hits, and he says, "You have been assigned to a WrestleMania match, the Shield versus New Age <laughs> Outlaws, and me. Believe in that." That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I was comparing the Outlaws to the new Pat Patterson, Pat Patterson and uh, was it Gerald, Gerald Briscoe? Briscoe? Jerry Briscoe. Yeah, yeah. Briscoe Brothers Body Shop. Yeah, that's, they're, they're old. I don't yeah. know how old Briscoe and Patterson were at that point. Uh, they, they were worlds were, older. Right, right, yeah. right. right yeah. Than, but, than those guys currently. But uh, one of them's 50. Yeah. I, I think the issue is, is that we've seen the Shield in so many awesome six man tags against almost everyone else that this is. Kind of, it feels like it's the bottom of the barrel. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'd rather see Kane team up with the Real Americans again, yeah. or team up with who cares? <coughs> uh, you know, and, and just anyone except for because it, honestly, the New Age Outlaws when they were first brought back, it, they felt like a nostalgia act. Mm-hmm. They were treated like a nostalgia act, and now they're a threat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After to the, sh- to the shield, to the shield, after losing the tag titles, so they to have the nothing Usos. to the Usos, <laughs> and, and I love the Usos. That's not a knock on them. It's more of a knock of they haven't promoted them to be a threat to the shield. Who, by the way, just murdered the number one contenders, right. yeah. or one of the number one contenders yes. for the tag titles. We just saw them, so it just it just feels like it. it on paper, feels like a squash. Yeah, it really does. Kind of it, like we we're talking about them, the veterans building up the kids, and yeah. so it, you, you kind of—it's not going to bring a lot of interest, I think, to WrestleMania. Unless but it's going to have some great where, moments. Yeah. Unless this is where the Shield breaks up. I think yeah. you could see what a twist. You could see Ambrose and Rollins turn on Reigns there. I can see yeah. Ambrose turning on them both. Yeah, and just him being the only heel out of the group. The thing is, uh, how do you feel about their face turn last week? Uh, the crowd was either confused or they were just terrible. That was terrible. just a bad crowd. And this week it didn't seem... They were bad with everybody. Well, when they showed up through the crowd for the, the Ryback's old part, like, I, I forgot that they were baby faces. Yeah. Right. I think that they maybe as baby faces come through the curtain. Mm. Well, that's the thing is that Vince said that there's no more faces and heels in the WWE. It's just that's there's B- a gray that's, area that's with BS, everyone. I but think. I know but that at the fans same t- need something... I, I, I like I like the fact that they still come out through the crowd because and yeah. and the fact that you they know what I changed my mind that yeah. their baby faces <laughs> it's like one of the most awesome things I was like well, right well, it came out of my mouth I was like no I want it back <laughs> <laughs> well it's and the other thing is it sets them apart from all the other baby yeah. faces that are like we're good guys no we're okay, just, so we if, just we just kick ours and leave so if Ambrose and turns heel does Ambrose still come through the crowd or is that no he'll from? come back he'll like just go back to his John Moxley old Dean Ambrose guest up and, For, and and do the Jim Morrison flapping moves and just go into convulsions while wearing an, an awesome looking jacket. So for the entirety of Roman Reigns' career, he should come through the crowd. Do we agree? <laughs> Yes. I'm fine with I it. Do. I do not, but I think it still has mileage now. Yeah. I still want Rollins to do the somersault over the uh, oh, barrier. Oh, I'm sure he'll do somersaults until the end of time, until yeah. he retires, yeah. through something somewhere at some point. Then maybe they'll put in hoops, and he'll jump through them as he enters the ring if he goes down the ramp. That's not point. as badass. I'm not saying it's badass. I'm saying it's something that they'll have him do. And silence. So, next segment backstage, we have Heyman and Lesnar walking. Lesnar, of course, has a new shirt. Eat, sleep, break the streak. Brought to you by Jimmy John's. Still brought to you by Jimmy John's. Um, After the commercial, Heyman and Lesnar make their way to the ring. Taker doesn't just have a streak. He has an undefeated streak, Paul Heyman says. Um, when Brock defeats the Undertaker, I want to ensure you that uh, ensure you this will take nothing away from that accomplishment. 
WrestleMania is the showcase of immortals. And then Lesnar steals the mic from Heyman and says, <laughs> enough, Paul, enough. I'm not here to promote. I'm here to fight. Undertaker, you're here. I'm here. Let's, Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do the, uh, this. Uh, the Druids Question then mark? wheel the <laughs> casket to the ring. We have oh, the God. music. It's a very long <sighs> trip to the ring. And Lesnar taps on the casket with his foot a couple times. Casket is empty when he finally checks it. Heyman, not impressed. Lesnar, not impressed. Screams out, is this some kind of joke? Heyman then says, my client challenges Taker to a match in a slum like Brooklyn, and he doesn't have the decency to show up. <laughs> Instant heat. Um, and then we turn back to the casket, and Undertaker is inside. Apparently there was a trap door. <laughs> I, I, that was ruined for me because I saw the curtain. Yeah, we, saw, we saw the ring apron. Yeah. You didn't believe the magic of it? Yeah. I will suspend my disbelief for the dead man. Yeah. <laughs> the lights come on and Taker clotheslines Lesnar onto the casket. And oh, he, Lesnar almost took, like, his skull mm -hmm. was like, he was uh, butt over tea kettle and his head, like, just was nearly being crushed uh, underneath words not working for me now <laughs> he took a rough bump on the casket it looked like he almost pile drove himself onto the casket he's a dangerous oh, man yeah uh, luckily uh, tuck and roll yeah. and he was okay but yeah. did this did this segment do what it needed to do for you guys setting up the this this match uh, they did really uh, for me they don't have to set it they up don't. Anyway. I don't no. think they have to set it up and I, uh, this mean guy beat up the guys that right. this other guy was able to beat, but he got but he got schooled. Last, Last year, week was enough. I think they would have had a really strong finish if they ended with the the Kane versus Shield thing. Huh. I don't know about that. I mean, the Shield that match I just think was a great. It was they hard to top that match. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Last year when Punk had his feud with uh, Taker, uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, his manager, whose name Paul is Bear? Paul Bear, happened to pass away. Upcoming WWE Hall of Fame inductee, oh, Paul Hughes. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, and they started using that for the angle. And my question was, what were they going to do? And someone actually asked uh, either Punk or Taker, like, it had to be Punk, what they were going to do. And he's like, what do you need to do? It's the streak. Yeah. yeah. My, it's WrestleMania. It's, it's Undertaker. A, you don't really need a build. Kind of, and, and Heyman's been doing a great job of adding perspective and history to the street. He yeah, started yeah, that tonight. Yeah. And and I like that they had Lesnar do what Lesnar would probably do. Stop talking. Me fight now. Yeah. Right. Grab the mic. And that was good. It was different. Lesnar uh, yeah. smash. But I, I agree. It's it's time for the match. And yeah. we're just all kind of ready yeah. for it. Yeah. yeah. They, they have not mentioned that uh, Taker's never beat Lesnar in a pay-per-view. You know what I mean? Like Whereas they did that with Shawn Michaels and Taker at WrestleMania 25 that kind of added to it. Maybe they're holding that card until next week as the Trump. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we shall see. And Overall then, thoughts of um, tonight's show. The afterwards, I was watching on the app, Scooby-Doo came out and pulled the mask off of the... T I don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> we found out who the real thing was. Oh. So, what'd you guys think? Uh, tonight's Raw. Other than the squash matches, I thought that... Shield Real Americans really enjoyed that, and the, the four-way for uh, to become the Intercontinental Champion. The show, <laughs> like, it, there were a lot of segments, but the show, it, yeah. Usually, I feel like Raw feels long with the three hours, but tonight it, it actually went by pretty fast. They had a lot to cover, just because yeah. of how much content they had. Yeah, with no Daniel Bryan at all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I for me. Last week was amazing, and maybe it's maybe it's unfair for me to compare this week's show to last week's, but I have no other comparison. I the show was re it felt like it really needed to be only one hour long. <laughs> <laughs> they probably have a feeling of what they're doing on the go home raw next week, but they, so this one is probably like, well, we got to set up. Oh, this yeah. is this felt like filler. Yeah. Maybe saving a Here, little bit. Here, let's back. throw this awesome match in in the middle to keep you pacified in between. Right. This is the road to WrestleMania, so our expectations have a right to be high. Yes. This yeah. is a tradition now, and you're, you're right. The go-home Raw, they're probably saving something for the tank. There's yeah. been great things so far. Yeah. The, 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 the Yes Movement, the Occupy Raw, that's 
stuff mm-hmm. that's been going on. This one felt like a little bit of a placeholder, which you might need to have. So yeah. it wasn't as, uh, for me, not as uh, completely entertaining as the last few yeah. weeks. But I wouldn't say anything was outright bad no, no, by no. any means, but no. it, they really it just felt weak. They didn't progress anything, but it was still... We had a couple good matches. If anything, if anything progressed, <clears throat> it was Wyatt Cena, mm-hmm. and that was, yeah. that was kind of it. And, really and the shield, and the shield is uh, awesome. The, that, that's the theme of the show. The Lesnar Taker thing, I, I think we kind of undersold it a little bit. That was the f- the mood in the room changed when we were watching it, and all of us were like, "Okay, what's going to happen? This is the end of the show. This is like a big thing. It's no. Taker and Lesnar." And of course, like, we knew he was going to pull like a magic trick out of it, or yeah, come through sure. a trap door in the ring, or come down on his motorcycle, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like the new toy. Yeah. It's, it's a limp biscuit. Yes, it's his yard. Like, but uh, I, yeah, I, I'm excited for that match more than I was. I like seeing them in the yeah. ring together. There's some cool visuals tonight. Yeah. So that shot of the casket, Lesnar, the lights, and the WrestleMania 30 behind him. It was yeah. way too long. Absolutely, way absolutely. too long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so long. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of what? inaction in that length. The druids coming out. It's cool at first, but then like, it can they felt just wheel like it Lesner down? Lesnar was stomping that casket for five straight minutes. Yeah. And Undertaker didn't have those Ultimate Warrior scratch marks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, from 92 or whatever it was. You know. Bury me, Snake Man! <laughs> Papa, Bury me, was, Snake Man! Papa Shango was involved. <laughs> yeah. Of course. And, and projectile vomiting, too. Yeah. 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 So, but hey, I'm excited for the next week to go home Raw and WrestleMania. Yeah, absolutely. It's WrestleMania 30. They're going to do it right. Next week, last Raw before WrestleMania. Definitely will be crazy. And Scooby Doo won't be there. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo won't be. Won't Arnold be there. presumably won't be there. Unfortunately, Joe Magna. He got come? signed tonight. I just found out. <laughs> oh yeah, he, he got, got signed in development. He's fighting the Miz at WrestleMania. <laughs> that would be. Cool. He's done with True Blood. So he's done. He's yeah. gonna do something else with his life. I need to go into a more stable profession like <laughs> professional wrestling. wrestling. <laughs> he does look like a wrestler. He does. Though. Oh my God! Yeah. He does. A six four six five. All guaranteeing man Vin, mate. Yes. Guaranteeing Vince is in the back. Like, Why didn't we sign this man, Joey Mag? Vince has Joey to be Mag upset that he's you. bigger than most. Oh, of Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, that's, he is. that's, that's what I mean. There was a giant guy from North New Mexico State in the tournament that they compared to Andre the Giant. I guarantee mm. they're going after oh, that guy. Oh, of course right they right are. Sure. Seven of course. five, and he's Indian. So Kali, look out. <laughs> Sim <laughs> Butar is coming for you. <laughs> So thank you guys so much at home for watching. I'm sorry for you live viewers. I wasn't in chat world tonight. Too hard to multitask with everything that was going on. But please subscribe, rate, and comment on our iTunes page. Comment on YouTube. We love hearing your feedback, good or bad. (laughs) Please don't rate it bad. Uh, But until the meantime, you can find us on Twitter. Keep the conversation going all week long until the Go Home Raw next week. Where can they find you guys? You can find me at that Eric Barnes. I'm at Brido on the Twitter. <laughs> and uh, at Ken Napsock, N-A-P-Z-O-K, and Schmoes No, at Schmoes No. And again, April 3rd, 7 to 9 p.m. PST will be live. Schmoes No Movie Podcast here at AfterBuzz. Yeah. You can find me at Catherine Kelly on Twitter. You can find all of us at AfterBuzz TV. We miss you, Johnny. We miss you, Dale. They will be back next week. But until the meantime, um, I guess keep the conversation going on Twitter. Yeah. We'll see you next week. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz. Buzz. You later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.